Shalom, Shalom. What's the same? Bracket the Yahoo and Bracket the Yahoo Shai. Bracket the Yahoo, Bracket the Yahoo Shai. Bracket the Yahoo and Bracket the Yahoo Shai. I say all praise and glory due to Yahoo, Bashim, Yahoo Shai, Bashim, Rakar Kadash. Double honor to the Apostle Elders, Great Millstone, Peace and Mercy, Men to the Lord's Elect. Alright, um, come back at you with another video, pretty much. Um, this is, uh, just gonna be centered around Jake, man, and, um, you know how they still don't know what time we're living in, even though um, you know the signs are all there. All right, every signs, all the signs are all there that Yahushua spoke about. And um, when you read Matthew's twenty first chapter or Luke, I mean Matthew's twenty fourth chapter or Luke the twenty first chapter, even though those times we're talking about seventy eight D. Excuse me, but now those things uh, are about to take place again on this on this go around. You know, the earthquakes in diverse places, the uproars of people, you know, and, um, and the prophets being out there, and, you know, and, uh, you know, everything is just pretty much coming full circle, but Jake still don't realize, um, you know, that we're living in the last days, but, um, I mean, let me, let me just get this, man, this is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2, it says, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O, o earth. For the Lord has spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me, man. The Lord said he has nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against him, man. All right, because here it is, the Lord literally got our people up out of Egypt and, you know, helped put us in a better, um, in better living circumstances and better living conditions and stuff like that. And just helped us overall, all right, uh, get, you know, li liberated of our enemies and, um, you know, Jake just takes all that for granted, man. That's why I say they were built against him. All right, and uh, it says, uh, "Fuck you, yeah. hold on." I feel like you. Yeah. Had to bring on that brightness. It says, "Um, the earth." It said, "The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib." It says, but Israel do not know. My people do not consider, man. It said, uh, the ox know of his owner and the ass is master's crib, man. The ass is master's crib. All right, both animals, both of those animals are uh, not the smartest, but they still know who their master is, man. They still know who feeds them and who takes care of them. But Israel, you know, you don't know, man. Jake does not know. They don't even uh, consider. They don't acknowledge their creator, man. All right. And, um. It says verse four. It says, "Ah, a self foundation." <sighs> Excuse me. A people laden with iniquity. A seed of evil doers, children that will children children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. <laughs> Man, is it, these the scriptures these scriptures definitely come to life when you you know when you really start to see Jake and. Uh, I ain't know how they act, man. But um, bringing that fourth verse back, it said, "Ah, sinful nation, and people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, man, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. All right, they are gone away backward, man. All right, they provoked the Lord unto anger, man. They have gone away backward. It says, why, why, why should we, why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more." The whole the whole head is sick and the whole earth faint. Man. You said the whole head is sick and the whole whole um uh, the whole head. They said the whole head is it's like the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint, man. Because Jake is messed up, man. It's like mentally, spiritually, and physically, um, because of the damage that Esau did to us as a whole, as a people. All right, dating all the way back to the time when you know, even during the time of the Roman Empire, man. All right. Just Esau just having his way with us, man. But um, it's just man, we 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 just been broken down as a people, man. To the uh, to the elderly all the way down to the children, and uh, starting to wear and tear him, Jake, man. All right, but uh, it says for the from the sole of the foot even unto the head, there was no soundness in it. Huh, huh. Fuck it, man, man. It says um. But but wounds and bruises and purifying sores, it says uh, they they have they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither um, mollified with ointment. Man, let me look up that word. Um, let me look up that word. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. I can't 
can't even remember, but I'm about to look it up. Soundness. Sound in here, soundness. Turn it, yeah. Well, yeah, it doesn't really go into anything. Look at the root word. I was going to say a little more. To be complete. It says, uh, to be complete. The Hebrew word is tama, tamam. To be complete, be finished, be at an end, to be finished, be complete. Completely, wholly, entirely, as um, auxiliary with verb. They say to finish, come to an end, cease, to be complete, of number, to be consumed, uh, be extinguished, exhausted, uh, be spent. I say to be finished, uh, be consumed, be destroyed. And so um, I guess it means complete, man. All right, to be finished. All right, so there's no completeness in you, Israelites, man. All right, you know, it says, um, from the sole of thy foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. All right, there's no completeness in it. It said, but wounds and bruises and purifying sores. It said, they are, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. All right, because in the ancient world, you would, you would dab ointment on a cut and stuff like that. And even to this day, you can do that. And uh, it's like, have certain antiviral, antibacterial um, uh, healing properties in it, man, to, to heal that wound. All right, like castor oil is uh, used to help heal wounds. All right, uh, due to the uh, you know the thickness and the texture of it, and it's it was it's healing properties, man. All right, you know honey, you know that's another one. I right, use that for bruises, burns, and stuff like that. Uh, it has to be raw honey as well. All right, not that bullshit uh, they used to push it, puts in stores. Um, it says uh, your country is desolate, your cities uh, are burnt with fire, your land strangers devour in it. So strange to devour it in in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Yeah, all right. So you know, going back many to the point up in like the second, and third verse, man. Jake just not does not realize you know what in the Most High is about to do to um, to the world, man. That's why I'm gonna just get this one, man. This is um Deuteronomy, I mean Jeremiah chapter uh, one verse eight. Salaki, no, I meant to say eight. This was eight or seven. I'm about to read this chapter over again. I said, yay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start from six. I said, I hearken and heard, but they spake not all right. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? <laughs> man, it said, Everyone turned to his course as the horse uh, rushes into the battle. It says, uh, yeah, the stork in the heaven know of his appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord, man. All right, so Jake does not know the most high, even though they claim they do, and they don't even know the times that we're living in. They don't, but the animals observe the times. They know they know what time it is, man, but people just in general do not understand, and like, you know, the stuff that's taking place upon the earth, man. All right, even though it's right before their eyes, man, it's going to catch Jake. So off, so off guard, man. It's, it's just not gonna be um. It's just not gonna be pretty, man. At the end of the day, and it's gonna be a damn shame when uh, Jake starts to see the hell that, that, that they're about to go through. I'm ended with this, man. Second uh, Peter chapter three verse um eight. But be love, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day, not so like you jump down. Um. That's Second Peter chapter two, three. Second Peter chapter three verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, work not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Man, all right. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with, melt with fervent heat. That earth also, and the works that that are therein, shall be burnt up. Man. Yeah, man. So it says, we're going that the day is not the day. Is, the day will come up as a thief in the night, man. All right. So a thief in the night comes in a time unaware, unawares, 
and he don't he don't alert people. He just comes, all right. And that's what the whole shot is about to get ready to do. And you're you gonna catch a lot of you Israelites off guard. Tell me, you Israelites even probably tell me, you Israelites even know the Lord come back, but you you might think he's a white boy. You might think he's coming to save Edomites and that whole world. And nah, no. All right, um, <laughs> man. <laughs> Jake, 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 man. No, that was it though, man. I'm gonna just say uh, all praise and glory due to y'all. By Shem El Shah, by Shem Rokadash. Double honor to the apostle and elder great millstone, man. Peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect. Shalom, Baba Boy.